we go. Nice knife throw takedown. Takedown, knife throw takedown. Thanks for joining me again. This is the conclusion of the Kill or Be Killed mission. And uh, I'm attempting to do the whole thing stealth. 100% and uh, undetected. Like I said earlier, there's four areas in this mission. Area 1 and Area 3. This is Area 3. I did do undetected in Areas 2 and 4. Um, all hell broke loose. Here I want to drag, do a drag takedown on this guy because the lieutenant is almost dead ahead. And I want to drag him around the corner here because I've frequently gotten busted leaving him there. So drag him around the corner out of the way and then just stealth down this way. Pretty safe. I'm not going to take down all the guys in this area. Just enough to get through to the next area. Here's the lieutenant right there. Got a rock lure him over here. There you go. Say hello to him. Drop him. I found a key on one of the bodies. I'm out of metals, kid. Call me when the commander is dead. And that's all that's required. Now our new objective is to reach the gate. And it's right below. The best way to get to it is just simply retrace your steps. There may or may not be two guys in front of the gate. This time there is. And if you need some ammo, there's some right there. I don't. There's also some body armor there. If you wait long enough, one of the guys will saunter away and you only have to deal with one. Here I was briefly thinking about doing a, a shotgunning with my bull shotgun see if I could get a double headshot. And then one guy wanders away so he gets spared. Take down on him and exit stage right. Actually, there's five areas in this mission. Pardon me. To me. I'm making myself scarce. What? Wait, how am I supposed to get out of here? Fuck her up, Buttercup. I'll be back when you need a lift. Yeah, there's five areas. This is the fourth area. So areas one, three, and four I did undetected. There you go. This is a great little scheme here. Just drop in the water and the splash will bring this guy over and you can do a ledge takedown if the freaking game will give you the prompt. Here I really had to shimmy around to try to get the ledge takedown prompt. This one, this one I was talking about earlier. So finally you see it's flashing there and I'm I'm tapping the ledge takedown button like crazy. I'm spamming it trying to get it to happen. Finally got a death burn below. Up ahead, you're kind of like flanked by a couple of heavies. You don't need to get the heavy takedown skill to get by these guys. You can lure one out, one out of the way. Usually, I go left. Do a rock lure on this guy. Get him to turn around, then just stealth up the stairs and up the ledge. These guys got a little suspicious, but uh, still undetected. Do a rock lure and these guys getting both turned away from me. See if I can get a knife throw takedown, takedown, knife throw takedown combo here. Setting them up nicely. Takedown, knife throw takedown. And that's this area down and out. Now this final area, pretty much all hell breaks loose. I've only managed to completely stealth it once in all my practice runs. So I'm not really expecting much here. I'm gonna get it a shot. So 
take down, knife throw take down on this guy. Now this took me completely by surprise. Usually I can drop that guy without alerting the other guy. And this time I didn't. I don't know why. The game just didn't want to give it to me and that that's it. All hell breaks loose. What I should have done was blown that barrel, which was my contingency plan. I forgot about my contingency plan. The second contingency plan is to just hang out here because this is pretty good cover. And they're either going to come from the right or across the canyon. And this is something else that's never happened before either. They flushed me out with a grenade. Finally remember to blow the barrel. So it's time for some C4. They're swarming in. Nice multi kill there. In the king's name, die! This is good practice for a mission coming up where the game is going to take away all your weapons again. A really tough one. You, you pretty much have to stealth your way through it because uh, you don't have to. There's no special mission parameters, but uh, it's the best way to go because you're going to be totally underpowered for much of the mission until you get your start collecting enough weapons. And that's all I'm going to say about that. We'll see coming up if you haven't played the game yet. Likewise for the north map. Once we start doing outposts in the north map, they're best done stealth because the north map is hell. It's total hell if you start running and gunning. So you're gonna have to learn to get your stealth on. Whether you like it or not. Unless you're a multiplayer deathmatch freak with reflexes like a, a fly on Jolt Cola. <laughs> so that's that. This area is clear. Our final obje objective is to hunt down the lieutenant, and this time it's no red herring. We actually find him and his cronies. Wipe them out and it's mission complete marked by the waypoint up ahead here I'm still trying to mastermind a kind of a stealth plan on these guys so I took my time and uh... <laughs> That kind of put an end to those ideas. So it's out, out comes the C4 again. Nobody throws blow up shit at Major Slack and gets away with it. That's the lieutenant right there. Typically he mans the, the mounted gun. So he's down. But we also have to take down his cronies. Actually he's not down. Now he's down. See, we got 250 XP for that one. Yeah, that was the big bad guy. Make sure it's secure. I hear you. Okay, you have to pardon me while I uh, toy around with these guys a little bit. I kind of forgot I was making a, a walkthrough video and I started having fun. 
Heaven forbid, Slack, you started having fun. Get back to the walkthrough video. Sorry. <laughs> this stuff happens sometimes. <laughs> Get totally immersed. guys are incredi incredibly resilient. C4 goes off right next to him and it just kind of like stuns him a little bit. See, see that? <laughs> no problem. C4, is that all you got? <laughs> okay, there's one down. And then there was one. And then there was none. That's it. So once you do them all in, Will is contacts you. You get him? Yeah, I got him. Good. I'll head over and pick you up once I finish my breakfast. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find bacon in these parts. Will us out. Thanks for flying the unfriendly skies, Buttercup. Once I find another loose thread on Yuma, I'll be in touch. Very strange, eh? The game, you know, starts prompting me with that, you know, if you're gonna leave the mission area, that's it, you're screwed, the mission will fail. And <laughs> pretty much, you know, it's not within my control where, you know, the game drops me flying in the wings. It's a kind of like game, that's like, you know. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a cheat trick here. I'm gonna fast travel in mid flight to end this mission. Sorry to deprive you of a wingsuit landing. Wingsuit slash parachute landing, but uh, the wingsuit is not my favorite. And it made a, hundred, a whopping 129,000 rupees here. So we're really racking up the cash. That is it. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacks their eight thumbs up. All right, see you next video.